Good morning, all. How are we this morning? Morning, Russell. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Russell. Good morning, everyone. Peace be with you all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, as we begin our day, we commit this first part of our day to your presence, to strengthening our relationship with you, to spending that first part of it with you in praise and worship and thanks for all that you have given us, Father. In offering our day to you in surrender, for you to direct it, according to your plans, not according to our limited thoughts from our carnal mind. So we begin our day and our prayer in the name of God our Father, the God Almighty, the Most High, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, who is ever faithful and true. And in the name of Jesus Christ, his son, the lamb upon the throne, the sheep gate, the Lord who is our connection, our bridge to the Father, our Redeemer. And we pray in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus, whom he gave come down to earth, live with us, be with us, come down to our level as we are, the existing condition that we are, sinful and sorrowful, and to work with us from there upwards and onwards towards him through his word, the one that reveals to us the will of the Father and the mysteries hidden in the word that that word might become flesh and dwell within us. And as it dwells in us, we live by that word and we live in accordance with the will of the Father. We thank you, Father, for blessing us with the gift of life, for blessing us with the opportunity to gather here together this morning as a family and pray to you, to talk to you in our prayer from our hearts, not our words that we speak. You listen to every cry in our heart, Father. And we lay that bare that heart with all its cares and worries, with all its concerns. As we pray for ourselves, Lord, we also offer ourselves up to be used as your instrument of prayer for others whose lives you want to touch this day, the Holy Spirit. We also thank you, Father, for the gift of family, for the gift of friends, for the gift of work colleagues, and for all those that look up to us in respect and value us. Many times, Father, that respect and that value that people given, have given us just turns into pride. And we have lost our humility where we started from. We have lost the humble beginnings, Father. But your word in Proverbs 15 verse 33 says, The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. And again in Proverbs 16 verse 5 he says, Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. And though hand join in hand, that is, though they pray, he shall not be unpunished. However, by mercy and truth, iniquity are purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. 
So in verse 3 of Proverbs 16, you ask us to commit our works unto the Lord so that our thoughts shall be established. Father, we want to surrender ourselves this day to you. And there is that little bit of pride in every one of us, Father. As much as we try, the praises and the appreciation of men thus in some way get taken for granted. And when does it become pride we don't even realize? And that pride gets converted to arrogance. We start to look down on the very people that appreciate us. We start to look down on everyone else that hasn't been honored in the way we have been honored, forgetting that this honor is dependent on the people that are looking on us. And that honor is bestowed through your grace, Father. Your word in James 4, 6 says that you oppose, you battle against those that are proud. But you give grace to the humble. So if this pride be in our heart, it stops and it blocks that grace from flowing out of you into our lives. As we pray this morning, Father, we ask you to search our hearts, search our soul, and every kind of pride that is blocking and that has shrouded our humility. We ask for that to be uncovered. Every dark corner of our life be illuminated by your radiance, your glory, Father. And help us commit every start of every new thing that we do to you. And offer it up in prayer. So that as we look up to your direction in those new works of our life, of every single day, we retain our position of humility and of meekness. Father, as we pray this day, we also pray for our brothers, our sisters, and our friends, our family, for all those that think thoughts of pride. For all those that are limited to their carnal resources in thinking. That they might be touched by your presence, O Holy Spirit. So that our lives might be turned around. So that we reject pride. And persist in meekness. To thoughts of humility, which comes from you, O Holy Spirit. The symbol of humility. We ask you to fill each of these lives this day, O Lord. So that our minds are renewed. And our thoughts are put into the direction of the path that you show us. We now connect with you in spirit, O Father. As we open our hearts and ask you to fill us. We pray in the gift that you have given us, the gift of tongues. So that as we pray in spirit, we believe that you are touching each of these lives that we are praying for as well. And you who are authorized to search the mind of the Father, we ask you to reveal to us his thoughts, his revelations, his messages for us this day. His guidance and his direction. So that the path that lay ahead of us becomes clear as noonday. Let us now pray in spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Praise Jesus. You, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs>
Father, we ask for that divine exchange to take place again this day. Take all of me, Lord, all that is of sin and iniquity. And give me more of you, more of love, more of humility, more of compassion, more meekness. Help me to adopt the attitudes that you have taught on the mount in Matthew 5. Into my life, Lord. So that in living so, your kingdom will come. Your will be done in my life. In earth as it is in heaven. morning I got Matthew 3 7 to 10 but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism he said to them you brood of vipers who warned you to flee from the wrath to come bear fruit that befits repentance and do not presume to say to yourselves we have Abraham as our father for I tell you God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, 
that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we were praying, I see in two visions. The first one being a tent. And the second vision that I seen was of a tree of whose all falling down. Even as I kept on seeing that tree, though the leaves were not there on the tree, there were flowers growing on the tree. And I sense the Lord uh, giving me this uh, word from Exodus 13, 21 to 22. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them along the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light that they might travel by day and by night. The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of cloud, pillar of fire by night do not depart from them from before the people. Even as I see in that tent, this word of God was impressed in my heart. But the Lord also assured me of that tree, though it leaves fell. He said, you need to trust me at all the times of your life. Because even the tree, though it's barren, I can still bear fruits in them. In, and that's how I see in those flowers. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. During our time of prayer today, I had seen a vision of a drum filled with tar which was being heated and immediately I got this word resistance uh, to me and I could sense the Lord saying that it is only with great resistance or with great pressure that our hearts will be changed. That it is through sin, just like uh, gold is refined through heat. In the same way, our lives will be transformed when we are put through a lot of pressure. But he does not desire to destroy us, but he desires to change us for our good. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Today's scripture is from John 14, 14. The promise of the Holy Spirit. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper who will stay with you forever. He is the Spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him because he remains with you and is in you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.
Father, your word in Isaiah 66, verse 2 says, You look to the man who is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembles at your word. You look to the man who is humble. The one who reveres you and is rooted in your word. But on our own, out of our carnal limitations, Father, it is difficult for us with all the evil filled in us to reach to that level. But you give us the opportunity through grace for that gap to be bridged so that through the presence of your spirit working in us, our hearts will be renewed. And as we fill ourselves with your word, Every other thought that is not from your word must leave until all that remains in us, in our heart, in our minds, and in our thoughts is only your word. Until all that is remaining in our nature is only your nature. When you have taken all of us and you keep filling us with more of you. Help us to be receptive, Father, to that grace that you keep pouring into our lives as you work on our lives each day. Help us be obedient to your direction, to your instruction, Holy Spirit, and not exercise our will over and above yours, but to discern and understand the wisdom that you are giving us as you teach us each and every day through your word and through your voice. Help us be obedient to that word and to that voice. That we might gain your humility, your nature, and be free from Satan's nature of pride. We make this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. And we believe, Father, you are with here, you are with us here. You have prayed with us. And it is you who continue to work in our lives and the lives of all those that we have prayed for. In Jesus' name. Amen. Before we end our morning prayer today, just wanted to inform you that our topic for this Friday will be the blood of the Lamb. And it is very much connected with freedom from this sin nature. And we will learn through scriptures an in-depth study of the significance of the blood of the Lamb and the testimony of our word that helps us be free. So please share this with uh, all your friends and your family and invite them to join us for Friday evening's Bible study, which will start at 5.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time with Praise and Worship. I shall post the link to the on our WhatsApp group to the Zoom meeting. Please share that with everyone. And may the peace and the mercy and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and His favor that He pours out on us unconditionally without judging us for our sin, but giving us an opportunity to turn away from it. Let that grace and that favor and that mercy be multiplied in each of our lives this day. That as we are blessed through the word of our testimony to everyone that we meet this day, let us bless each one of them in the name of Jesus. And God's people said, Amen. 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 Have a wonderful day, each one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.